Now to frightening new video of a motorcyclist coming dangerously close to being run off the road in the West End. Eric Hanna was trying to get a woman to put down her phone while behind the wheel, and the next thing he knew, she blew past him in the same lane. On Friday afternoon, Eric Hanna was on his way back from a motorcycle trip when he noticed an SUV that was stopped well before the line at a traffic light on Woodruff Avenue. Looked over, I noticed that she was on her phone. Uh, at that point, she did the same thing at the next stoplight, so that's when I decided to turn my camera on, which I had on me, and I don't normally record with it, um, but something told me just to start recording. Hannah was going to remind the woman to put down her phone, something he does when he notices drivers texting behind the wheel. But when he tries to knock on the window, the driver completely ignores him. Thinking he tried his best, Hannah continues down the road, but then he gets the scare of his life. Watch again. The same SUV comes within inches of hitting Hannah on his bike. It was pretty terrifying. Uh, not a lot goes through your mind at first because you're just in shock. And then you either get the, like a fight or flight instinct or you feel angry or, you know, just terrified. The driver pulled over at the next light where the two had a brief interaction. Hannah says he then followed the vehicle for a short time, wanting to report it to police, but broke it off for safety reasons. He did file a report on Saturday and says this isn't the first time he's had a close call. We take what's called defensive lane positions where we're on certain sides of the lane and people will see that sometimes as an act of aggression or not understand why we're doing that and they'll try to pull up beside us all the time and pass by us, but uh, we do that for our safety. Police call the incident very troubling, but remind people not to follow a vehicle when they witness an infraction. The video has been viewed over 100,000 times since being posted on Friday. And even with the scare, Hannah says he will continue to be that reminder for drivers. In this case, it was just what happened afterwards that was different than most experiences. But I will always let people know to get off their phone. Now again, police are reminding people on the road not to follow vehicles when you see them texting or if you may suspect an impaired driver. Note the license plate, the driver description and the street and then be sure to call police. Well, CTV Ottawa has extended coverage of the incident online. We've posted the entire video of the encounter on our Facebook page.